Hello, my name is Fiona Walsh and today we're going to have a look at how to add your own colour palette to Microsoft Theme Colours. We'll find the Theme Colours on the Design tab and over to the right, under the Variants drop-down menu, you'll see Colours. When you hover over Colours, you will see the different colours that we have available to us. If we go down to the bottom where we have customised colours, a new window will open for us. We have the option to change all of these colours here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to change the accent colours from 1 to 6 and that is for my new branding. The colours that we have here are the standard theme colours for Microsoft. We don't want to use those because anybody who creates a PowerPoint presentation, when they click on new to open a new file, these are the colours that they're using. So we want to do something different. So if we click on the drop down menu, it's then going to show us the theme colours, the standard ones in PowerPoint. Here we have more colours. So we click on more colours and then we have the colours window open up. The standard one allows us to pick from the standard options, but we're going to do the custom one. Now, I'm going to drag this across. This is my new colour palette for my new branding, and the values that we have here are hex codes, and then we have RGB values as well. So this is where I'm getting my values from, from my branding. So I can either put the hex code in, or I can put the RGB. So that's red, green, and blue. So for this first one, I'm going to do RGB. So my red colour is 0, so it's a dark blue. My green is 51. And my blue is 102. And then I can click OK. And it's saving that new colour for me for accent 1. I can do that now for the rest of the colours in my palette. And I'll type the hex code in there for this one because I have it. If you're using the hex code, make sure that you have the hash tag in there as well. Oops, so we've got CC710A. Click OK on that one. And then this one here, we've got... We'll do the hashtag, we'll do the hex because that's easier. So we've got this one is 00CC99, and I have put it in a squiggly instead of the hash. So that's 00CC99. Okay, and then we'll do accent 4. Backspace on that makes it easier. This is 055C59. And number five. So it's quite quick when you know what those codes are. It isn't a time consuming job. That's all the threes. And one accent left to do. And this is a white shade. So actually, I can't read the hex on that one, so I'm going to put the RGB, oops, I'm going to put the RGB in for this one instead. So I've got 204, 255, and I've got 204. I'll click OK on that, and down at the bottom here where we have the name, we can obviously rename that, so I'm going to call that my colour palette and save and now that is applying that colour theme to this slide and I can change that back to another palette or I can um, choose my palette at any time. So that's how to add your own colours into a theme and once you've saved that custom theme, that's available to you in Office uh, across the Microsoft suite. So it'll be available in Outlook, in Excel, in Word as well. So it's very handy to have that set up. So thank you very much. 
If you are watching on LinkedIn, please do connect with me. And if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel.